Awesome. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us today on our SVK segment with McCain Foods. We are super excited about today's show. We're going to debut, and it's we don't typically do this, and this is what makes it so exciting today, is that we're going to de- debut a brand new French fry into the marketplace in Canada. So we are so excited today. We have Chef Ron and Chef Mark on the show. Chef Ron, we go way back, way back. Tell us a little bit more about yourself, and welcome to today's show. Oh, thanks for having us. So I've been with McCain go a little over 14 years now. And uh, I've probably worked with you up in Toronto. I was with McCain less than a year at that point. So uh, yeah. now we've hopped across the country at different uh, Cisco offices and such and uh, met with a lot of the Cisco chefs and they're a blast to work with. So we're bringing you a, a, a new product today. Uh, I'm so excited about it. It's a great product and I uh, can't wait for everyone to see it. That is so, 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 so exciting that we have a new product, new fry. Yes. And, you know, like it's, what is it? What's this, So what's so special about this new product today? So it's a red battered jumbo crinkle cut fry. So Red you know, battered you're, jumbo you're crinkle seen, cut Yeah, fry. yeah. You always right. seen That's those like word. skinny crinkle cuts. This is a jumbo thick size one. Okay. And I'm telling okay. you, it, it's, it holds its heat well. It has tons of flavor to it. And I think everyone's going to be very pleased with it. That is awesome. That I'm so excited about that. So let's bring in the rock star here. That's right. Chef Mark. There welcome, we Mar- welcome, Chef Mark. Thanks, Jay. Great. Glad to be here with you guys today. Awesome, awesome. So you ready to cook the McCain's Jumble Crinkle Cut Spicy Batter Fry? I am. So as Chef Ron uh, just, you know, went through, so this is our new product, our... Um, our uh, jumbo uh, spicy crinkle cut fry. And as he uh, alluded to, it's really, you know, a, that thicker kind of, you know, real meaty kind of um, fry that, that that I grew up on. It's actually very similar to the um, the Nathan's cut that, that we see on the East Coast. So that was my go-to fry when I was a kid, you know, with my my uh, my, my uh, dog with uh, hot mustard. But, you know, I really kind of, <laughs> I kind of really grew up on that fry, but the added bonus of this one is at this batter, right? So mm-hmm. it's really based on our red batter that that's really popular. You see it a lot in uh, in, in crinkle in uh, curly fries and you know in waffle fries, but really unique to this um, this thick waffle. So it comes in these um, uh, six five pound bags uh, in the McCain label up in uh, Canada. Great, uh, really great product. So. But I also want to show you, because I know Ron alluded to the fact that this is a regular crinkle cut fry that I just cooked off. So, uh, Ron, I was raised on these too, Chef Mark and Chef Ron. I, I grew up with the crinkle cut fry. That's what I'm so excited about it today. Yeah. So, and so as you can see, it's a much more meatier, you know, thicker fry. It's almost a little bit more of a platter fry too, because it's thinner on the um, sides and then thicker on the um, on top. So it's kind, so it's of, kind of got that steak cut style. It, it's a little bit of a steak cut. Yeah. And what's great about it too is that's going to help it in the um, cook time as well. So when sometimes when you look at like, you know, like our pop fries or where it's like a five and a half, six minute cook time, the beauty of this fry is actually going to only be about a three and a half to four minute cook time. So it's really going to, so you're going to get all of those, that, that beautiful, meatiness of, of the fry, that spiciness, that batter, that's going to, you know, for, for, for takeout delivery, it's a perfect fry because you don't have to season it after as well. So really, you know, and yeah, really a, just a great fry. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, Chef Ron, what else is special about this product? Is there anything else that you want to share? Yeah, well, the, the, the beauty of it, it's bakeable as well. It's bakeable? So, it's a bakeable product. It's battered. It's bakeable. It comes out great. Um, so you can also, you think about this for um, uh, carry out as well, you know, takeaway. So you can, mm-hmm. it'll, as long as, you know, keep a little venting on the packaging and stuff, yep. you'll, it'll stay nice and warm. It's like, a, it's a thick cut and it's going to have that nice heat hold to it as well. Very so, yeah. cool. So just to, you know, just to demonstrate that really one, you know, you want to make sure that those fries are one layer, 425 degree convection heats. And I like to cook it on high because I like to get that, 
that real crispiness that, that you know a little bit of dark edges and just one single layer and and uh by magic of tv voila so we have those nice thick um the, the, the little bit of that, oh, that crispiness on the edges you get the the nice tear on the uh big product and it really you know it keeps its crispiness very nicely now you're talking about a little bit about these fries can go other into other day parts, which I'm very curious to see here of a menu. Right. Is that is that right, Mark? Yeah, yeah. And just one thing I failed to mention on the um on the big product, because you're not getting that oil absorption and that mm -hmm. oil around your, your your mouth, you actually pick up a little, little bit more of that those those flavors. Yeah. So that red batter is really featuring paprika and cumin and garlic and and really those kind of those those wonderful you know real rich kind of kind of spices so it's 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 a great product so yes breakfast <laughs> breakfast all day and when i think of breakfast all day i think of you know breakfast tacos so okay breakfast tacos that's right oh yeah so oh, what yeah. i think here is we're going to do a little <laughs> bit of a, a taco mix so we have a, a perfectly cooked perfectly cooked sunny side egg Look at and then a couple of did um, you did you did you practice that? You didn't just make that that's, one. That's that's you know that's 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 a uh, culinary institute of America. <laughs> I, I don't get my I didn't get my toke without doing that. So that's right. yeah. I couldn't that's graduate. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. So we're gonna do a little uh, carnitas on the um. Okay, what's a, what's that? Tell me what so carnitas, carnitas is. are. Um, we don't sell these, so I don't really feel like I need to explain it. <laughs> it's um, it's basically braised. It's basically braised um, pork that that's used for um, um tacos. So okay, you know, I use um, cilantro, garlic. Uh, I, I make my own sofrito with um, peppers and, and onions, and and um, kind of sweat that all down. Add braised the pork with some tomato and some a little uh, uh, chipotle and adobe, and then kind of just like let that cook for, you know, in a, um, in a, in a Dutch oven, let's say for like two or really? three hours. Yeah. Holy yeah cow. It's really, it's a beautiful product. So to that, we're going to add a couple, top it with a couple of fries, give it a little bit of hardiness, a little pico de gallo. Mm. A little queso fresco. And I like to do a little lime crema. A little lime crema? There you go. Lime crema. So it's basically you're taking Mexican um, crema, which is basically sour cream that's mm -hmm. thinned out a little bit more, and you just add a little bit of fresh lime to it. Really? And you got yourself a nice little taco. So for the breakfast version, we're going to do a little bit of that, <coughs> excuse me, that pork. Mm -hmm. We're going to go a little cheese sauce on this one. So a little, um, little queso. Once again, a little bit of for color that that um, that salsa, and then again a little crema. So that's kind of like your breakfast version. And don't be scared if it kind of breaks a little bit, because you kind of want. <laughs> I don't think that one is going to though. <laughs> it's a beautiful, <laughs> kind of a beautiful little uh, taco. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. So I um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break for a quick commercial, and then we'll come back with more ideas with Chef Mark and Chef Ron. So just hold for a second here. All right.
Awesome. We're back, everyone. It's Sister Virtual Kitchen with McCain's introducing a new product, a new French fry. And McCain, we try to say that chef, big long line, McCain's jumbo crinkle cut spicy battered fry. Yes. It yes. is a long line. an acronym. The MJCCSBF. There we go. It could be, a new, could be a new code number for us. <laughs> Is it okay? <laughs> so, you, so, Chef Ron, are you going to create some more ideas here for these fries? Well, actually, Chef Mark is. Sorry, did I say Chef Ron? Did I say Chef Ron? <laughs> yeah, you did. That's because that acronym screwed me. So, Chef Mark's like, what? What? <laughs> What's going to happen? <laughs> so, we're just going to start off basic because this is honestly the way I love this type of fry. It's, um, as I said, it's like the perfect kind of to-go fry because it has that great batter on it. It's a real meaty um, crinkle. And, you know, I think of how I used to have it on the boardwalk as a kid, right? So bag it up, a little ketchup, and that's, you know, perfect. What I like about using a paper bag or a wax paper bag is that it does give a little bit of ventilation. So it'll it'll um, prevent it from steaming inside of it as well. See, we have those in arenas, Chef Mark, up here in Canada. We don't stroll the well, boardwalk in Canada. We go to arenas. And that's say, it's, it's more indoor activities. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I, when I say boardwalk, I mean literally like a, a three-month window of kind of like <laughs> September. Sometimes June is September. That's awesome. So it really, really would depend. You know, honestly, like a really simple, you know, uh, deluxe burger – with um, with with, with the, the jumbo spicy crinkles is, is fantastic as well. So, you know, just simplicity sometimes is the best for this kind of fry because everything's in it, right? You don't have to. I, I I'm not a. If you don't have to mess with it, don't. Um, it has all the spices in it. It has the batter in it. So you know, it's a perfect uh, just you know fry for dipping. Also a great. Um, segue into the appetizer world right so because it's um because of the the um the, the crispiness that you're getting from that batter it'll hold up to a lot of um cheese sauces and and um sour creams and, and kind of all of those you know sometimes messy ingredients so chef ron does it plate coverage is obviously it's going to create more plate coverage right yeah a absolutely it's going to look great on the plate because you're you're you, the size of these fries I mean, look at look at this like on this uh, this board right we've got here. I mean, yeah. you just see the how how they take over that. I mean, they they the presence is just amazing on these. Yeah, so just a real simple charcuterie board where the, the fries become a bit of a focal point, even though you have these these beautiful sausages and jardinier and, and uh, mustard, but that that fry really takes a, a big presence because of because of the size of it and the kind of that, how, how it's um, the presence. Okay, Chef Mark, I know every French fry yep. connoisseur does this. Can you take one and crack it open so we can see sure the beautiful can. inside of it on the, on the kitchen cam? The kitchen cam. The kitchen cam. Maybe he, he grabbed this small one. <laughs> so, I know. <laughs> there you so, go. Yeah, just, can you see that? So what do you want to look for when people do this? Because I see people so, do this yeah, all the time. Yeah, so you really want to see that there's a ton of meatiness in it, right? There's a lot okay. of there's a lot of potato in there, um, and it's it's also you know it's that mashy potato, right? So it's really kind of like you know it's like mm -hmm. that that perfect mashed potato texture on the inside and kind of that crispiness on the outside. So that's really what you want to look for on, on this. Particular you don't want to product. see it howl like I've opened them you don't sometimes. Want to see no. Yeah, no. Okay, perfect, perfect. And and then they like they're going to retain that heat, obviously, with that being full of potato inside as well, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. And and think about this, Jay. What when everyone sits down, you're in a restaurant, and you get your your sandwich, your burger, your side. Yeah. First thing everyone grabs is the fry. <laughs> yeah, always true. reach for the fry. Well, they always steal the other person's too. Oh, that too. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> that is right. <laughs> All right. So the other, yeah. So as I just um, was trying to 
alluding to is that so the, it's perfect for that appetizer piece, right? Because it'll hold up to different toppings that'll have a little bit of um of um flavor and and, and uh, wetness to it. So you know, kind of a variation of a theme, mm -hmm. one for inside dining and then one for takeout. So for takeout, we did a little bit of um a cheese sauce, some crumbled um, taco meats. Uh, the fries on the bottom, little lemon wet lime wedge and cilantro, and a little pico de gallo in it to go. And then you can hit it with a little sour cream in a container as well, which yep. I shall do. Thank See, you. here's here's what I like. I, I'm going to throw some things out here that I because I, I had a few shows this week just around this kind of. There's some ideas here that we care around this is that. Chef Mark, so we did a show this week really around increasing the guest experience. So when you go back out and people are going back out to restaurants, there's kind of a, I wouldn't say a fight, but there will be a little bit of getting people to come to your restaurant or become a repeat customer because they're going to want to try everything out there. So how do you get them in there? We did a show this week called Thank You Dishes. So free little appetizers or free little you know dishes before the, you know they come down, they sit down. This would be perfect for that. Because you're not going to put a lot on there. It's a great, you know, segue into your meal and just to say thank you. So I love that. I love the idea on the appetizer as well because it's a lower cost product for an appetizer. It's still going to get a lot of value yeah. out of it, right? I, I love the idea of the thank you thing too. I was in, um, and I, Ron, Ron was there too a couple of weeks ago. We were in Atlanta, Georgia at a, um, at a, at a very popular um uh, Israeli restaurant mm -hmm. that that uh, that's you know really yeah. kind of a cross between it's a kind of like an Israeli Chipotle yeah and and you know because of all the labor issues and stuff their their obviously service is a little bit slow so what the owner was doing and this is this guy is like a real celebrity in Atlanta mm -hmm. he was there just handing out little little bowls of soup to mm. about a hundred literally fifty people yep. waiting online for this. And, and it was just, you know, just, and just kind of just giving that, that interpersonal, um, I, you know, and I know, you know, obviously everyone can't do that. It's, you know, yeah. it's, it, it with big busyness and stuff, but just that little bit of, you know, interpersonal skill. It's just huge. Was like, it was huge. Absolutely. Yeah. tremendous. Well, you know, it's, it's just that whole thing of just saying, thank you for coming back into our place, right. try something right. different. You know, you could say, Hey, try new fries and walk around with those in little shooter glasses or something or whatever it is, right? Uh, to really sample it out. And I tell you, when I get takeout in this last couple of years, and that's why we also want to make sure that we're, you know, we're, I love the fact that you showed two different takeout and sit in, um, is to go back out and enjoy th these kind of products in restaurants. But also when you get a takeout package of all the takeout food for your family, and there's a little free offering in there of, of a product or whatever it is, I tell you, it's like wildfire. You feel like you just won the lottery, and I'm I'm not kidding you. It, it, you. People are like, "Look what we got free!" and look what we, you know. And it could be a thank you, you could write it on it or whatever. Um, but I think we need to do that to increase that customer experience, because we all know that food inflation is hitting everyone. So there's higher prices on the menu, and and the, like doing a plate like that, a little platter of like that in front of you, Chef Mark, that one, that wouldn't cost you hardly anything. And it makes yeah, a whole different, and it, everyone loves fries. Like, I don't know if you guys yeah, ever ran yeah, into someone absolutely. that doesn't like fries, right? And, and the key to it, right, is the color. Mm. It's kind of that. Yeah. That, it doesn't look it, cheesy. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, right? it doesn't look, yeah. And then you have the, um, the the batter coming through, so you have that. It's, you know, it's definitely going to be um, a little bit, you know, very, very convenient mm. to the cost of the plate. And then, you know, and I'll just hit it with like a little bit of that kind of that crema right on top, right? Just, just to give yeah. a little bit of, you know, a little bit of wow. So I always just, uh, um, I always have a thing when I'm a big fan of using um, stemware, glassware, mm -hmm. anything that you have in your, your restaurant that could add a little bit, bit of pizzazz. Yeah. I always tell a story when I was um, the uh, executive sous chef of a, Three star, three uh, New York Times three star restaurant in New York, where we would on slow nights we we did this crab cocktail dish. And it was yep. served in a stem martini glass. It was this beautiful, you know, crab and avocado coming out of this this, and, and you know, it was just beautiful height, right? 
And on slow nights, we would send Bernard, this this strapping young um, <laughs> waiter, around with 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 a tray <clears throat> and one crab cocktail on, right? And he would just yeah. circle around the dining room with this yeah. this, this, this cock, and and then all of a sudden we get like 10, 15, 20 orders, <laughs> you know, in a row. Yeah. So it's just one of those things. It's like you know, things that that you can do very easily and very cheaply. Can oh be yeah. Easy. Place of superstars. We used to um, <clears throat> the place I ran. Um, we used to if we had a lineup or people waiting for to get in, we sampled them in the waiting room, right? Or yeah. in the you know in, while they're waiting there, we sampled them all the time. We sampled them with pizza, usually because we had a forno oven. We did pizza in there, um, and then also we usually had a couple because there was a couple of runners or whatever. And if they were running food and things like that, we had them running around with samples to, to tables. Yeah. And you know what we used to do is we used to do the, the dessert platter. And we used to run around the kitchen after that first rush. We used to run around the, the front front of the house with a platter of desserts and just walking by the table saying, hey, you know, make sure you leave room. Sure. And you wouldn't believe how many desserts we would sell by doing cool. that. Right. It, it was crazy. Right. It's, it's one of those tried and true things, right? That it, does, you go, it works. Yeah. You go to some of these old steakhouses, and there's a reason why they still do it, right? Because yeah. it does sell. Yeah, it does work, right? And yeah. and I just think, and I, I and this is why I, you know, I love this, this this talk on this because I think also, you know, everything I'm reading and studying and having on the show and stuff like that is all about increasing that guest experience. And I tell you, consumers are going to look for that big time. Right. They're going to want to go out. They, they, you know, they've been cooped up for a while and they want to go out and they're spending their hard earned money. And we know that, you know, all this increase in inflation, maybe they're not going out as much. So they're going to look for that. Wow. And that's going to be big on them coming back to the location as well. And uh, I, I think all these ideas, I think all these things that we used to do, like the chef coming out from the kitchen and coming and shaking hands in the front of the house. Who does that? Right, the millennials would be like, "What the? What's this?" Right, they'd love it. You get selfies now, right. all these different things. Right, like it'd be so much fun, and uh, I think we need to do that again. I need to bring back some of those things that we know worked back in the '80s and '90s, um, back into today's world. I think I think we should. So that's my two cents. No, I I, I totally agree with you. It's all is new again, right? Yeah. And sometimes you need to review mm-hmm. what what's worked in the past. And well, why now with like. Like, do you imagine a chef coming out of the kitchen and coming to tables and people getting like selfies with them or, you know, the, the, the chef saying, hey, let's get a picture together and then posting it. Like that is like gold, right? Like, and you know, every chef wants to be a celebrity, right? We all, we all want to be celebrities. So it's like the picture with the customer and all these things and post on your channel, their channel. Like today we should do these things. And it's just another way to create an experience and then. Also, just to say thank you for coming back out and, and supporting us, right? I think we need to do it. There we go. Totally agree. All because of the the new fry. That's right. <laughs> That's right. It's I funny. love the, the, We'll call it the soapbox fry. Exactly. It's the new fry. Awesome stuff. Well, thanks again for both of you for bringing us finally a new product to the SEK Network and to Cisco. And we're so excited about this. And everyone, we have the code there. You can buy it right now. Throw it on your order. Get sampling it out to your customers. Put it on your menu. I think it's a brilliant product. So thank you both for being on the show today. Thanks for having us. Always yeah, thank you, Jay. Always appreciate the friendship. Awesome, awesome. So everyone else, we're going to be back tomorrow. We got a little pizza contest against Saskatchewan versus Manitoba, who's got the best pie in the prairies. And then we're back next week with our food show on April 20th. Uh, which is all about pizza as well and support of La Pizza Week. So thanks again, both of you. And to everyone else, tune in to SEK. And then go get some of these fries. Go search for them. I'm sure they're going to yeah. be amazing. I can't wait to try them. Myself. They are amazing. They are amazing. <laughs> they look pretty good. They awesome. Are. <laughs> awesome so much. Thanks, guys. And everyone else, have a great rest of your day. We'll see you. Thanks, Jay.